Do you, you a fan of Janet Jackson? You like her music? I love my sister. She's awesome. Okay. She's amazing. Well, what was the video all about? <laughs> her little brother f***ing with, with, with his big sister. <laughs> That's family, bro. <laughs> okay. You ever met Janet Jackson? <laughs> my sister, bro. Like, yeah, <laughs> my sister. Yeah, she's okay. good, bro. Yeah. What was it like growing up with Janet Jackson as your sister? Oh God, hard. She mean as hell. <laughs> my sister. She got a big old heart. She got a big old heart, and uh, she just, at the end of the day, wanted to make sure that, um. that I'm ready for what God has for me. You know, she's one of the hugest, if not the hugest guardian angel of heaven. Um, and she's very close to God. So, um, she's not an easy win over. <laughs> yeah, my sister's not an easy win over, but I love her with all my heart. I'll do anything for Janet Jackson. That's my sister, bro. Did she ever introduce you to Michael? Oh, man. Here we go with these questions. All I can tell you is at the end of the day, man, I love my sister, bro. Okay. I love my sister, man. How'd you and Pimp C link up? I was in some trouble with some people that was doing me dirty in Texas that still owe me a lot of freaking money. And uh, basically, he ran them out of Texas and uh, became like one of my best friends. Mm, that's crazy. I don't think I, I think people be kind of surprised to to know that you and him kind of had like such a close relationship. Mm -hmm. What was it like spending time with him? You know what I'm saying? Because you were around him kind of towards the end. end he right? didn't play with people. <sighs> that's what you get out of me. Um, you just don't play with people. That's what he, he he stood for collective togetherness. Did he teach you a lot of? Hey man, check this out, man. A whole ass nigga, man. Fuck ass nigga over there, boy. Man, you know what I'm saying? What you need to do? Get together with them. You know what I'm saying? Saying when well, you get with them, maybe they can get your whole ass some motherfucking money. But you sitting over there acting like that boy, then did something to you. Now you can't get nothing with that boy. Y'all, 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 y'all boys need to get together, man. Y'all boys need to get together, man. Man, I, I, check this out. I got five thousand dollars. Say y'all boys gonna get together right now, man. Y'all squat this shit, huh? That's what they do. Well, that's what they didn't want, cause he was pulling people together. They killed my brother, cause he was pulling people together. And 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 they was about to buy. They was about to do a black distribution. It's a distribution company on black on all black music distribution company. Ah man, you taking money out out of, out of out of the industry's pocket. And I'm half industry and half streets, so that's my pocket too. Nah, y'all niggas gotta stop. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Pops was like, no, nah, nigga, y'all niggas can't. So um, they shut that shit down. But as far as him getting shut down, um. I think honestly, it, it was it was uh, it was because he was about to do the Orlando Brown show. Yeah, he okay. Had, yeah, and then we signed the, the the well the whole little music shit about to put me on. But his main focus was the Orlando Brown show. He wanted. He was to about to put you on. Yeah. You guys had a record deal or something going on. Yeah, with live soul entertainment. Yeah. Mmm. Okay. And so when he passed away, that kind of messed all that up. For you, nah, not for me, for the world. How did it affect you when he passed away? Mm, I start beating the ground with my bare fist at the rental car company. I start beating the ground. What else could I do? They wouldn't let me figure out where he was at. They wouldn't let me tell. They wouldn't tell me where he was at, but I knew where he was at. They wouldn't tell me where where he was at, and then I was like, I told my girl at the time. I told, I said, oh, I know where he at. He at the Bellagio. I pulled over there to the Bellagio, and uh, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Did you stop doing music afterwards? Mm, for a while. 
I didn't, um, it like three years. It took like three years. I had just talked to him. Mm. I had just talked to him. He he was about to do a, a I sent the text to this chick. You know, uh, what, what, uh, no, that was, what's the name? I'm talking about, uh, oh, I choose you, baby. That whole shit. And he wanted me to do the video and I was in Texas. Mm. I was in Texas and then Outcast, when he got well, done with Outcast, that shit, right? yeah, yeah, and then um, I had ended up moving to LA and um, I was like, man, what's up? And he was just like, what's up, man, you know, miss your old ways, man, I miss you, bro, you know, we got to get together. I said, yeah, man, well, look, man, don't close your eyes like Cinderella because if you do, I'm going to come kiss you and wake your ass up. <laughs> That's exactly what I told him and nigga went to sleep. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, Pimp C, man. Yeah, man.